does it finally end? Finally? Find out now. Now. Oh, what's our name gonna be? <laughs> My first instinct uh, is to name it "fuck off," but I'll I'll refrain. <laughs> Strab <laughs> oh. Strawberry yogurt. <laughs> the. <laughs> Is the end okay? Is this the end? Not my favorite boss fight in that game, but okay. I am the end. Hey. end! I like just saving in the middle of that fight and then setting the date forward. <laughs> 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 Gotta get the Mosin, man. Uh, we gotta fulfill the promise. Fulfill the promise. Is there anything you desire? Uh, I think this might be someone. Oh, I can okay. grant whatever you wish. <clears throat> Tell me. Or maybe fucking. I don't know. A strange bird once said that. Who was that bird talking to? What's going on? I don't know. <laughs> uh, I think this is the same. Uh, let's, let's just see. School blessed with extensive curricula and facilities. It's already been a year since I ended my ordinary life and locked through the gates. Okay, yeah. One thing in particular. Yeah. Uh, the birds. Alright, sciences. Student body, boom, species. Straighten up a bird. This is the same. That's Duh. unexpected. <laughs> Usually you'd have been here for an hour by now, the. The. Okay, well, tell you what, just in case, I'm gonna save and then I'm gonna zoom. Excuse me, but it's pronounced THE. Sorry. Why does this novel not have the <laughs> option of just like... Like you can skip, but it'll stop skipping when you reach an unread part. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? It's pads. Yeah. Well, watch already. Woo, it's crazy. Uh, dead bird, bye. Would you like to die? No, I want to get to the real ending. Fuck off! <laughs> Died of all these birds! Bird this, bird that, chirp, chirp! I don't care if it's student council. What? I don't know. Just, just, uh, what? Eh. 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 What is it that I desire? No, uh, you go, done? I guess we're gonna go to mouth class. Mr. Nanakito, uh, stop! Better hurry. Uh, look at me. I'm, I'm a very, I'm, I'm very sad birdie. I'm very sad bird. I don't know if we should go for a route, or if we should just tell everyone to go fuck themselves. I'm, yeah, I'm not even sure what this. Like fulfill the promise. The thing is, is it like a secret bird or something? Or yeah, I don't know. The guy didn't indicate anything about it. Probably go outside. I don't know. Uh, he disappears. Goodbye. Oh, so relaxed. That's class hike. Need some food on. Today is the hike. I'm so happy. Let's eat together, Ryota. Cause that sounds so fun. Do 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 do
do you do do do? I'm not getting this at all. Yeah, I, I don't guess understand. It's just gonna change something at some point, and I don't really know when. Uh, okay, just have to keep an eye out. Do do. Go to the cheerleaders. It's for the midterm exam. It'll probably be in the second semester because that's what. Oh fuck! Oh oh oh! Or not. Let's be completely random. That's cool too. I like this. I'm very happy about this turn of events. <laughs> if you can't tell, I'm not fucking livid at all right now. <laughs> this is wonderful. Everything about the situation is great. I'm not. T I'm not fighting the urge to scream. What were all the options and preferences? I don't fucking know. Hello, preferences. EGM stuff. Well, what the hell? Nice. Yeah, it doesn't give the that's options. That's actually really bad for a visual novel that's structured this way to not have the yeah, yeah. skip only on red text. Yeah. Mm. Bum, 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 so, uh. Birds, am I right? Birds. Bird, bird, bird is the word. No. Bird is no longer the word. We're revoking is... its word status. Bird is a word. I wish it wasn't. But it is. No you. 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 It's desperate struggle. Yeah, my struggle is pretty desperate. I'll, I'll, I agree with that. No, you. <laughs> no, you. <laughs> Shit, I wish I hadn't packed that game up now. Which one? No More Heroes, Desperate. Uh oh. Uh, Shit, No More Heroes 2, Desperate Struggle. I don't think it had two in the title, did it? Did it not? I don't know, man. It's been a while. I'm gonna look at my shelf. Uh, I'm gonna, gonna look at the title voice clip. <laughs> okay, it's on the game. So it's on the game case. But also, when you pop it in the Wii and Travis says the name of the game, he doesn't say the two. Okay. Mm, that's fair. <laughs> Fuck off, birds. Neom. And ready, it's. You there! Stop being a dick! <laughs> This should be it, right? Here we go. Yep. I've had this dream a lot recently. I can see a little house on the other side of the fence. I wonder who lives there. I don't think it's anyone I know. <coughs> Ryota's next to me, and my parents are here too. We're all together again, but... Mom? Dad? Hey, wake up, please! That's Brian the Pigeon. I better hurry back to class. Hello? Hey, look, this shit again. Oh, hey, Throw him out the window again. <laughs> okay. Kill. Kill. <laughs> Just damn, that bird's fucking dead. <laughs> Shiny. <laughs> break. Go to the. Uh. 
store. We're gonna go to the store, okay? Okay. <laughs> oh no. Hey, yeah, whatever. Collective day. Collective day. Let's get smart. Smart. One thousand IQ. One thousand. Tanabata. Okay, there might be something to get to Tanabata. Hang on, we'll go slow. Birdie, I know. Ryuta's dead. Impossible is not French. Impossible is not French. Forgetful bitch. What should I wish for? Uh. I don't know. Throw the world from the shadows, I guess. Yep, yeah, okay. Yep. Yeah, is that you, End? Is that you, End? <laughs> end? Goodbye, teacher man. Don't stay out too late. Finals, okay. Ta da! Maybe you'll give us, we'll get one after finals. Okay, good. That dream again. So it's after every set of quick like tests. Ryota, my parents, and me at a stranger's house. The strange bird who comes to me is a magician. He says he'll grant any wish that Ryota and I make. Maybe not today. Well, watch as I pull your future out of a hat. Oh, <gasps> there's fucking nothing. Maybe not tomorrow. But well, one day. One day I will rule the world. Is the magician the doctor? Not. Last day. Today's the last day. Oh my god. Saved it right when he was loading in. <laughs> oh, nice. You <laughs> <laughs> help me too, you ugly bird. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye. Yep, blazing fat. Okay. Carve it into your soul. No. Your soul. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, I'll just I'll just go over here then. Just go to my home first. <laughs> yep, whatever. You're irrelevant to me, bird. Bird 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 is the word. No. Was this really the best idea of how to no. like, go about this, Absolutely like impl implementing not. this thing? Absolutely <clears throat> Cleaning my glasses, hang on. Okay. I can see you again. This is awful. It's not fun to read the same dialogue again with no real knowing, with no idea what to expect mm. changes. And then yeah. you get surprised because it doesn't stop and you roll right past some new dialogue. Yeah. Again, this visual novel, especially one that's structured this way, should not be without the, like, don't skip unread texts. Huh? Ryota is in his desk. He's always slow, so I don't think... Sir! Sir, wait! 
don't remember this. Hello, End. Yeah, maybe the second term is different now. What is it? Do you know where Ryota went? I, I don't think I've seen him since the homeroom. He went to the infirmary earlier. I think he wasn't feeling well. He had a stomach ache? Hmm, could be. Maybe you should go check on him, if you weren't going somewhere else. Get out of my hair and go find him, I don't care. <laughs> Sorry, get out of my feathers. Get out of my face, I will! Ah, I'm late! Did the color change? It's me for... Oh, that that is... Well, my, um, the yeah, color... The color is different, though. Ah, is it a flashback? I'm late! Is this supposed to be me reading this? I... I think so? I think so. I've been slow getting out before, but I've never slept in my alarm like this. Maybe I'm not getting enough sleep. Anyway, gotta go fast! Gotta go fast! Sorry I'm late. Good morning, Koara. We were just about to sit down. Late on the second day, as expected of a feral. Eat shit. Now, now? Sir, where's the? Isn't she here? Apparently not. Whoa! Whoa! Hang on! Is this like an alternate universe here? The universe where I, I was here today and the universe where I wasn't? I guess? And Ryoto wasn't in our reality at the moment either. Oh, goodness. No wonder her kind died off. Mind blown. Where are you, V? Usually here early. You were late yesterday, and now this? I think we can start homeroom now. Without the end? <laughs> Today we'll do a little review on the history of Birdkind. You wait until now to teach that? What a pathetic country. Of we course, everyone learned it years ago, but it's required for the second day of the semester. It's going hot. I don't under... I don't know. Back when we birds were still beasts and pets, a virus known as AH5N1 appeared. At first, it only infected birds, but it underwent a mutation and spread to humans. This mutated strain was highly infectious and had an extremely high mortality rate. It's the Ultra H1N1, or like the Ultra Bird Flu. Yeah. It became clear that it posed a threat to the survival of the human species. So the humans engineered a powerful virus to cull birds and prevent H5N1 from becoming a pandemic. In hindsight, it seems foolhardy and rash, but the world leaders of the time saw no better option. Except the new virus didn't work. Infected birds didn't die. Rather, their brains grew in size and power, starting with doves. That's why doves make up the majority of professionally qualified workers today. Other birds, including quails like me, are still adapting to social life. Incidentally, I heard that the first puffin in history to hold a governorship was elected last month. Even cuppables, ca even cuckapoles, which were once close to extinction, can now be toilet trained. So, like true ending or whatever translates to plot dump. <laughs> yeah. <I> yes. <laughs> And, as you all know, the Prime Minister of Japan is a shoe bill. Anyway, the development of social intelligence in birds had a huge impact on their predators. Which leads me to the next point. Since their gambit failed, humans were left defenseless to H5N1. Most died out. A few that are left now, now live peacefully with birds, though in the past there were large conflicts. Ah, that's the bell. We'll vote on student council members in second period, so be on time. 
Oh, I fucked that fucked me up. <laughs> the one <Yeah>. never came. <laughs> <laughs> the end never came. I hope she's okay. Maybe I should try calling her. Kalara, do you have a minute? Uh, sure. We're supposed to get our print boxes today. Would you mind picking ours up? Our uh, print box? Yep. It has all the handouts and everything, since we don't have a council yet. Okay. It's in the faculty room, right? That's right. If you could have it back here before second period, please. Print box. Print box. Oh, that's fucking me. Inside the faculty office is a stack of cardboard boxes. These must be the ones. This one, maybe? I pick up the bar box marked 2-3. It's awfully heavy. Guess paper isn't exactly light when there's this much of it. So many papers. Oh, thank you. You were okay by yourself? It was a little heavier than I expected, but it's fine. I was fine. It's fine. This is fine. Let's take a look inside, then, just to make sure everything's there. Huh? Did you cut your wing, Kawara? Cut my... Oh, oh I don't like where this is going. I don't think yeah. so. It's bleeding. Huh? It is. Did I scratch myself on something? It doesn't hurt at all. No. This isn't my blood. What is that? The cardboard box. We named her the end. Oh no. There's blood leaking through a corner of the box. I feel sick. But I reach out and open the lid anyway. Inside the box is a human head. The eyes are glassy, but even like this, I still recognize her. She wasn't late. She was here all along. This... It can't... Yo. What? What the hell? What's going on? <laughs> I think that's the intended reaction. <laughs> Is this suddenly Doki Doki? What? <laughs> what? It's a murder mystery, I guess. Look away, Kawara. Looking will only hurt you. Uh-huh. Emergency alert. Emergency alert. We have entered a state of emergency. No, oh, really? All students, please evacuate to the gymnasium. Wait, does that mean in the other reality, Ryuna's dead? <laughs> I, I don't know. Repeat, we have entered. Coo! Coo! What is happening? Why is everything red? I don't know. Bah! Until we know what's going on, there is nothing to do but follow instructions. What are you spacing out for, Kawara? Come on! I don't know, my best friend. Come on, man! Life. Get it together! She's dead. <laughs> no. The end. I don't want to leave the end here all alone. Get up! She's gone! That thing is no longer end. <laughs> uh, any and all impacts fucking gone. <laughs> that thing is no longer the end! Now it's a different story! It can't be. Come. By the time we arrived, the gym was already crowded with students and teachers. No one seems to know what's going on, though. Gym echoes with whispered speculation. Hey, did hey, you, see, you the see the box? It's like they turn and whisper the same thing to each other. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> and no one wants to start reading it because they're afraid someone else is going to read it. <laughs> yeah. 
Look, I, yeah. I, got, I got it. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah. You had that, too? Yep. yep. Well, the class <laughs> 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 Two voice person. Oh, no. They spread her body between all the classes. God damn. A limb per room. What the hell, Shu? Ours had half a leg. It was really gross. Oh, he did the legs in twos. From the snatches of conversation, I hear it sounds like all the print boxes had pieces of human corpse in them. Were they all pieces? Were they all pieces of the end? I wonder. Nobody seems particularly concerned. Which isn't all that odd. It was grotesque, but it's not like it was a dead bird. Just some primate. Yikes. Nanaki, this isn't some idiotic disaster drill, is it? We're not supposed to have one until next month. Do you suppose it has something to do with that distasteful box? That was definitely ends. Bah, won't someone explain this ridiculous state of affairs already? Yeah. Someone tell me. What's going on? Oh, wait. Someone, tell me what's going on. This is all a bad dream, right? Someone wake me up. Someone. Hello, Principal Bird. Hello. What is this? Me no. Uh, so who's gonna... Who's gonna be Principal yes. Bird? I can since I'm freaking dead. Okay, yeah, go for it. <laughs> go for it, Daddy. Is everyone here? I don't know if it's male or female. Is everyone here? This is Ichijo Ichi 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 Mino, the headmaster. The headmaster? It seems we've all gathered together without panic or noise. It's Sid. Excellent. Unfortunately, there has been a natural disaster outside. This school is a designated evacuation site, so please remain here a little longer. Natural disaster? Nonsense! The weather is perfectly clear! Cool! Okosan fell! No earthquakes! It's not like we're anywhere near a volcano or anything. I demand an explanation, Headmaster. Just what is going on outside? Does this have something to do with the end? Why have you brought us here? I repeat, there has been a... No, imbecile! Gymnasium erupts in whispered discussion once more. Well, that changed nothing. I still have no idea what's going on. Are you all white? Are you, <laughs> Are you all white? <laughs> Are you all right, Kalora? No, uh, I'm. Yeah, yeah, yes, I am. This could prove to be a very bad day for us all. Could prove to be. It already is. Ooh. Mr. Nodaki, the end is missing! Oh no, this game's never gonna end! <laughs> we have to find the finale! Koo! She must have run off somewhere! Okusan will go look for her! San, no, she's. The game just keeps going forever, the text becomes. Per the story becomes procedurally generated. <laughs> Uh, San is an older breed, much closer to pigeons of the human era. Maybe he doesn't understand the concept of death. Trying to explain would only hurt myself. The headmaster has proven entirely unhelpful. What should we do, Nanaki? Well, we can't exactly carry on with class. I agree with San. Let's go get the end. 
strategy. <laughs> Calm yourself, Kawara. To relinquish your sanity during a state of emergency is suicide. I'm fine. There's nothing wrong with me. Sir, we can't just leave her there like that. May I go back to the classroom? Just once. Well, the principal did ask us to remain here, but he didn't say we couldn't leave the gym, now did he? Hmm. I'm coming with you. As president of the student council, I have a responsibility to get to the bottom of this. Frankly, I'd rather you just sat your ass down and shut the fuck up, but whatever. <laughs> I mean, thanks, Sakuya. <laughs> Sorry. Hey. Do not flatter yourself. I am not doing this for you. Second thought, sit the fuck down and shut up. The end was foolish, loud, and had no manners or sense. Sorry, maybe we should have called her the fear. The fear! Fear! But she never deserved anything like this. I swear by my blood and name as a lebel. I will find the one who did this. You shall be my assistant. Come, Kawara. Right. <laughs> and so I exited the gymnasium in Sakuya's majestic wake. I want to... I want to know what happened to the end. Who did that to her and why? Can the evacuation possibly have nothing to do with her? Why wouldn't the headmaster explain anything? My head was a raging whirlpool of questions and no answers. And I did not yet know what we would find. What is this? What is this? A wall. A huge gray... What had been a clear autumn sky is now blocked off by dull gray. It's dark, almost like the sun had gone down already. Suddenly it's the Truman Show? A dome, rather, we appear to be shut in from above as well. What? When did they do this and how? I don't think any of us was in full command of, this f of, of his faculties as we came... I don't think any of us was in full command of our faculties as we came this way. We can't be certain that it wasn't already there. It does seem most likely that it was put in place while we all were in the gymnasium listening to the headmaster, though. He did say there was a natural disaster. Maybe this is some sort of shield. A disaster so destructive there's nothing to be done but hide under an enormous gray blanket and wait? Maybe they didn't give the headmaster the details to avoid causing a panic? If that were the case, they would be robbing us of our right to know why our very lives are in danger. Oh yeah, they'd never do that, would they? Never in a million years. Is this really a shelter? Is that really a natural disaster? Either way, we don't know if there's a connection between what happened to the end and all of this. Let's go to the classroom and then tell Mr. Nanaki about the dome thing. Very well. Okay. I'm genuinely kind of interested. Looks like the other classes left theirs as they were, as well. They're at the teacher teacher's desks. Is everybody else planning to stay in the gym? Japan is a country full of fools who have grown lazy through too much peace. I doubt anyone else has dared take it upon themselves to investigate this matter. We're here. What the hell? <laughs> That's all I got. The box is still where I left it. Inside is... Uh, I, I can't. Sakuya, I'm, I'm sorry, could you... <laughs> no matter. <sighs> what is this madness? Huh? There's... Nothing here. What? Uh... That can't be right! We left it right there! It's not like it got up and moved on its own, is it? Someone came and removed it while everyone was at the gym. This is li 
This is life, not some third-rate mystery novel. Okay. So, exactly I'm guess. I wonder if it's the doctor. Oh, oh fuck. nope. It's Yuya. Exactly, Sakuya. Yuya. Hmm. Salutations, Ryuta. I see you're babysitting Sakuya. Do not throw my name about like some cheap toy, mongrel. How cruel! Well, I can't blame you for being tense, given the circumstances. I think he'd act like that regardless of the circumstances. Circumstances, Yuya. I am sorry about her. It pains me to think about what happened. His expression clouds. Strange, I've never seen him with any expression other than carefree cheerfulness before. You've known her for a long time, right? Yes. Do you know something about all this, Yuya? <laughs> Jeez. <clears throat> well, most of this business is still a mystery to me, but I can at least answer the question we face right now. The whereabouts of the courts, you mean? Yeah, that. As you said, this isn't some third-rate mystery novel. Corpses don't disappear, and we won't, we won't be having a famous detective show up and find the culprit for us. Anyway, the other infirmary assistants and I gathered her up in the chemistry lab. The chemistry lab? What for? <laughs> for one, well, we couldn't just leave her scattered throughout the school, if only for the mental health of the students. Secondly, for the autopsy. As you know, we have two things going on at once here. The only human in the school was cut up and distributed to the rest of the school, and now there's some natural disaster happening. Imagine you're wondering if there isn't a connection between the two. Well, we are, but we haven't found anything. What do you know? I told you, this is all a mystery to me too. I suspect that we will have an easier time investigating the murder as long as we're sealed in like this, though. The doctor should be proceeding with the autopsy by now. The, the doctor? <laughs> Why him? You don't trust him? Of course not. I don't want to think about what he might do to her. He might even have... Hmm. You suspect the doctor? I yes! Everybody knows he's a nutcase. He probably killed her for some crazy experiment. He is an expert in the field. We're going to him first, so he's the red herring. Who else here could perform the autopsy? I bet his entire point of his route is so when you get to this point, you're like, eh, it's gotta be the doctor, and then it's not the doctor. Yeah. <laughs> that way, yeah, that makes sense. But... <laughs> I know where you're coming from, Ryuna. He's not exactly the most ethically minded burn around. That's why I asked Professor Nanaki to come too. He should be there by now if you want to go make sure. Alright, we'll go later. So the end has been gathered in the chemistry lab and the doctor and Mr. Nanaki are examining her now. Mr. Nanaki might not be the best witness, but he's better than no one, right? So, no, uh, we know where the corpse went then, but why are you here? me. I'm investigating. Under my own orders, of course. Playing detective, mongrel? That, and I have to make sure we didn't miss any pieces. Anyway, what are you two going to do now? Personally, I think the murder and the evacuation are almost certainly connected. I am inclined to agree. The headmaster's refusal to explain our situation makes me doubt his story in its entirety. Indeed. So, Ryuta. It, yeah? I know how you feel. You want to find the one who did this to the end as soon as possible, right? Yes. D I... I got nothing to say here. <laughs> <laughs> it's certainly more interesting than a zombie's yeah. route. Yeah, for sure. This might be more interesting than the rest of the routes, to be honest. Yeah. The end. The end. 
gone for a moment, and suddenly she was turned into this. Who did that to her? I'll find them and I'll... I'm gonna find the culprit and I'll... I'll... Never felt this emotion before. But now I feel nothing else. When I find that bird, I'll... Kodos. My thoughts exactly. Unfortunately, this school is a mess, and we won't be finding anything by chasing after her shadow. I think we should try to solve both mysteries at once, whenever possible. Of course, the wall could just be there because of some natural disaster. That's about all I have to say. <laughs> we didn't need your advice from the start. You're nothing but talk anyway, mongrel. Shove it, sucker, you. Thanks, Yuya. We'll do our best to help. Oh, one other thing. You might want to talk to to one in the maintenance office. Tell him I sent you. You mean that antisocial cockatiel dandy everybody hates? Shit, I don't remember the voice I gave that guy at all. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. Yup, him. Don't worry, he's a good guy. He'll be able to help you, and you might find something else useful in there. Well, that's it for the talky mongrel. I do. Oh, good. <laughs> Be gone! He saunters <laughs> off towards the staircase. What a dreadfully obnoxious man. I thought he'd never shut up. I've been thinking that all day. He gave us some good <laughs> advice, right? We should be grateful. Anyway, I don't think we'll find anything else here. Indeed. Hmm, where should we head next? I doubt we would go amiss by visiting the lab, the maintenance office, or by investigating the wall outside. Right. Let's go to the office first. Maybe this one guy will be able to help us. I'm willing to bet in the original version of this game before Steam, that was actually a choice because you're supposed to be able to, like, fail or die this this mm. path originally. Oh, excellent. Glad we the can. The maintenance office. In other words, the repairman's shop. I doubt we will find anything useful there. You just had to go, right? I doubt the integrity of his advice. <sighs> Jeez, is there anything to say about your own brother? You should be nicer to your family. My family? Do you mock me? That filthy-blooded mongrel is no relation to me. Whoa, calm down. Guess his elitism is still running business as usual. We don't have time to waste. We should hurry. The maintenance room is in the corner of the main building on the ground floor, right? Okay, thanks. You want to voice Mr. Wanara? Sure. Excuse us. What is this? This doesn't look very educational. Does he live here? The handyman pretty much lives in here, I think. Oh, it does. And one more. Mr. One, hello. What are you doing here? Didn't you hear the alarm? I'm Ryuta, and uh, this is Sakuya. We got permission from our teacher to investigate the building. Didn't you hear the alarm? So this is the uh, investigation part of the case, right? Trial starts tomorrow? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Objection. Objection! No panic, no noise, and no leaving. That's what I do here. Hold it. Whoa, somehow he seems really cool. You mean you're too lazy to go to the gymnasium? Don't worry about me. You two go ahead and find your class there. No, we're not... Do you mean to interfere with us, wretched fool? I hope there's a scene where you just you snaps on Sakuya and like gives him the best verbal de-dress de dressing I've ever heard. <laughs> uh, you just said we should ask for your help. Sakazaki Yuya? Yes, him. We decided to honor his request by coming all the way over here. Do you intend to stop us now? Sakuya, where the heck are your manners? 
sorry, he transferred from overseas and his Japanese isn't too great. He certainly has more bark than I imagine he has bite. Very well, come in. <laughs> Shut up, Sakuya. What did you say you gentlemen were investigating? Two things. The murder of the end and the mysterious wall outside. Your Been portrait is vaguely transparent. Yes, he is. <laughs> You've been in here the whole time, right? Do you know what he's talking about? Yes, I got an idea from it. Idea of it from Mr. Sakazaki. In other words, you know only what you have heard from that mongrel. Useless. I know plenty about the school itself, though. My job is to take care of the entire campus. Maybe you know what that big gray wall outside is, then? Nope. Useless, wretch! Sakuya, calm down! Though, I'm not sure there's anything we can warn here right now. Oh, wait. Mr. One, can we use your computer? Maybe we can find out what's going on outside. Well, now he's... He's, like, getting more solid, it looks like. That's weird. Sadly not. Everything's been cut off since this morning. Even the telephone wires, eh? This is too thorough. I can't think of any reason why they need to cut communication systems off if it were some sort of storm protection. This has been a wild goose chase, then. A complete waste of time. Let us go, Kawara. Wait. I have a bright and massive piece of advice for you. Bright and massive? What? If you get stuck, try the headmaster's office. I've been almost everywhere in this school, but never there. You might be able to find something about out about the wall if you check in there. Of course, the headmaster did not speak to us in person in the gym. If he was broadcasting from his office... Then he might still be there. Asking him certainly seems like the best way to get some solid information. We should try that. If you need a break later on, feel free to come back here and rest. Anyone Mr. Sakazaki sent is trustworthy. I'll get you some notes. If you find anything, you can come write it down. You never know what could happen in a situation like this. I didn't something. do that. That's okay. Thank you, Mr. One. Come back here later. For now, you should check the lab or the wall. After those two, we can try the headmaster's office. Oh, shit. Let's just take a blank slate and send a page. Alright, what do you what do you guys think? The lab or the wall? I mean we've already been to the wall. <laughs> kind of. Excuse us. It's always been one of the gloomier parts of the school. But today the lab's downright depressing. Hello, Koara. Sir, thank you. For being with <clears throat> the end now. Of course. Sakazaki came and asked me to come right after you two left the gym. He must have gone past us. How unfortunate. The doctor's lining up the pieces of... <laughs> the doctor's lining up the pieces of the end up on one of the lab benches. Must you glower at me so, Mr. Kawara? I'm not glowering at you. Do you disapprove of my handling her? Gives me an evil smile. N no, that's that's not it. Just wish we had a doctor who wasn't this malicious. Are you finding anything, Doctor Iwamine? 
Not yet, no. I only just finished assembling her. It will take some time. I will send word to you when I have finished. Perhaps you have something else to do while you wait. Very well, we shall not interfere. Come, Kawara. Right. Oh, Mr. Kawara, a moment, please. Yes. Hmm. Allow me to give you a hint. He's kind of transparent, too. Yeah, a little bit. Weird. Uh, hint. I think they've maybe been like that a lot, and we just haven't noticed. You suspect me of foul play, do you not? In light of that, I shall leave it up to you whether you decide to believe me or not. Anyway, I think you have missed something very important. Huh? One might say that you have forgotten something. Perhaps you should bear that in mind, hmm? You're just a little bit off, but I'm sure you'll find the answer yourself if you keep looking. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful, Mr. Kawara? The sound of your life crumbling apart around you. I take it it does not suit your tastes. Very well. He was rather fond of the unusual himself. A pity. He? Well then, you can handle the outside investigation. And I, the internal. <laughs> Good luck, Mr. Kawara. Right. Thanks, Doctor. Dickhead. He's definitely enjoying himself. What a f what a s that's not what I was gonna say. What a psycho! <laughs> <laughs> what did he mean when he said I was missing something? Or maybe he was just trying to lead me astray. Better not worry about it for the time being. What were you talking with Kawara about, Doctor? Nothing important. I was just giving him a little emotional support and encouragement. I see. That's good, then. I'm sure you'll remember not to cause any troubles for my students, Doctor. Damn! Nice. We step outside once more. The great dome remains, blocking out the morning sky. Uh, let's go get a closer look at it. We can't see much from over here. Indeed. Iron, maybe. It's quite firm at any rate. Maybe it's some sort of shelter. Oh, maybe it is some sort of shelter. My phone's out of range. Maybe this wall is blocking the signal? That seems likely. It sounds thick and dense. Trying to break a hole in it will not be practical. Maybe there's a, an emergency exit or something. We should check. We still don't know whether or not we are completely sealed in, after all. Right, let's uh, walk around the perimeter. Doesn't look like there are any doors or anything. Indeed, it appears to be identical all the way around. Do you suppose it is ventilated? I can't say I fancy the prospect of suffocating under this thing without even knowing why it's here. I don't know, so maybe you should be quiet and save us some more oxygen. I think an emergency shelter should have some sort of airflow built in, yeah? If not, then we're in deep trouble. Hmm. What are you looking at? Wait, I read that the wrong way. What are you looking at? Up there. Is that some sort of hatchway? It points upwards. 
Ah! He's right, about 20 meters up. There's a joint or something of a different color. It does look like it might lead outside. Let's go look. I don't see any sort of latch. Can we open it by hand? Wait, that's his hurtful boyfriend! <laughs> oh yeah, it does. Where? At the bottom? Hurtful oh. boyfriend, instead of had a full. <laughs> okay. How long, is, how long has that been there? I assume Probably the time. ever since it became purple. Yeah. Um, yeah, maybe there's a switch or something somewhere. Or at least ever since, like, maybe the, the next scene after we found the dismembered head. Yeah. Does not seem like we can do anything here now. Let us remember its location and return later. I don't like to think about it, but... If there really is such a terrible disaster out there, and this is the only option, maybe it'd be better to leave it shut anyway. Indeed. Let us move on. To the headmaster's office, then. We still don't know what's going on outside. I've got enough on my mind just thinking about the end, but... I'm worried about my family outside, too. I hope my mother's okay. I suppose we've finished the first stage of the investigation now. What do you mean? We don't know a damn thing! Yeah, we've got a better idea of the situation, I guess. Doctors working in the lab, the Grey Dome covers the entire school, but for one hatch. And we can use the maintenance office as a base. Mr. One did say... Indeed, he suggested we visit the headmaster's office. Yeah, it's on the first floor. Let's go. Headmaster, sir! Are you within? We demand entry. Rude even to the headmaster. What if the doctor is the only person in the entire school he actually respects? No reply. Let's go in. Wait, Sakuya, that's... Don't care. Locked. Hmm. It's locked. Bah! Where is that old geezer? Maybe he's pretending to be out so we'll go away. Indeed. He never was the type to walk about the campus. Or perhaps he has locked the door from the inside and plans to stay inside until the siege lets up. Should we wait around? We have no time for such frivolities. We shall enter this room if it means reducing the door to a miserable pile of splinters. Uh, it's the headmaster's door. I don't think it'll be easy to break down. <laughs> you speak the truth. Let us ask Nanaki if there isn't a key to open it from the outside. Yeah, we can head back to the... Huh? What is it, Kawara? That's kind of creepy. Yeah. I think... I thought I heard something. I hear nothing. Perhaps you are imagining things. Like something being dragged across the floor. Listen. There it is again, behind... Uh... Uh... What's happening? Robot? Ah! What the fuck? I don't li I don't like it. I don't even know like I don't know either. It's very creepy though. Suddenly behind us stood a gigantic scarecrow like creature with a rough burlap sack for a head. Scarecrow. That's actually really creepy looking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Ugh. 
This has been the whole game. I would have preferred that. <laughs> what? The Scarecrow Man draws closer, dragging its long, ungainly metallic arm behind it. Sakuya, watch out! Its arm slices through the air, smashing the window into tiny shards, which scatter across the hallway floor. We don't know what it is, but apparently it isn't friendly. Sukuya, we have to run. I am well aware! That shit, he's already gone. <sighs> Did we lose it? I think so. Luckily, I'm lucky it moved so slowly. What was it? Surely no one could devise a prank as bizarre as that. It looked like a biped. It was humanoid, but I don't think it was a human. I've never heard of a human made of metal and burlap. A murder, the dome, and now this. I know not who is behind these trickeries, but they must have a death wish to mock me so. For now, we have to get back to the lab. We need to warn Mr. Nanaki. Wowie, dude. Killer robot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, welcome back, Kawara. Kawara, Shirogane. Would you like some tea? Is this really the time? We cannot afford to relax now, Professor. Hmm, so I take it something happened. Uh, the Headmaster, he must have been hiding from the Scarecrow. It smashed the window. Calm yourself, Kawara. You be you, you become incoherent. <laughs> Sorry. We were attacked by a gigantic creature outside the headmaster's office. It was a bizarre thing, like a scarecrow in appearance. A scarecrow? Yeah, like the ones humans used to make. It attacked us and we ran back here. It was slow, but its arm was heavy and dangerous. And the other student are the other students still in the gymnasium? Probably not all of them. If there's something dangerous in here, we should probably tell everybody to stay together in the gym. Yeah. The plot thickens indeed. Not only are we trapped under this confounded dome, but now it seems we must contend with this monstrous new guest. I wonder what sca the Scarecrow Man's connection to all this is. A scarecrow man, you say? Doctor! Fascinating. I've never cut into one of those. I'd love to get my hands on it. <laughs> Have you finished the autopsy, Doctor? Yes, for now. I was, awa I was awake here the whole time, don't worry. That's unlike me, I know. Uh, thank you, Mr. Nanaki. Hmm. You two may well have a right to know what I've found, given your efforts towards the investigation. I shall try to take simply... I shall try to state simply... Simply and briefly what I have learned from the lumps of meat which, which once were Miss End. Control yourself, Kawara. It was a silent grumble. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> Falling out among ourselves would only do us harm. I know. <laughs> anyway, we lack the tools for a proper examination, but... The cause of death was asphyxiation. There are no signs of any strangulation or smothering, so she was either poisoned or sick. What? She was dismembered after death, then, Doctor. It would appear so. There is little evidence of bleeding, so we may assume that she was cut off some time after death. The Anne was one of the healthiest people I know. She couldn't have become sick that quickly. Meaning, somewhat poisoned her. Why? For the sake of the grotesque, or to make her easier to carry, 
Or for some other reason. Disgusting either way. I suppose I should tell... It's like, it's hard to keep the voices straight between Shu and, uh, yeah, and sure, sure, Sakuya. Yeah. yeah. I suppose I, I should also tell you the estimated time of death. Obviously, I cannot be completely certain, but... I believe that Miss End died yesterday after school. In the evening, then. Precisely. And she was found this morning. In other words, unless she was seen yesterday afternoon, she may have been here all along. Kawara, her house was near yours, was it not? Did you see her yesterday? After school? Um... No, I didn't. My mother asked me to run some errands, so I went straight home yesterday. That's right, I went home alone. It's too late to regret it now, but maybe if I just asked her to, just asked her to walk home with me. I see. Perhaps we should ask any other students with whom she was close. You're going out again? Be careful. It sounds like wandering around the school could be dangerous. Uh, don't worry, we can outrun the Scarecrow if it shows up again. Incidentally, I went home early yesterday too. I left as soon as class ended. So I only know what Ryota has told me. I wish I had some useful information, but... I was in the infirmary right up until I returned home, as usual. I know nothing of what happened in the rest of the school, sadly. So neither Mr. Nanaki nor Dr. Iwamane saw the yes saw the end yesterday after Fuck! Saw the end yesterday. Yes! <laughs> Oh, right. Can we ask a favor of you, Mr. Nanaki? A favor? The headmaster's office is locked. We think he might be hiding in there. If there's a spare key to his door, can we use it? A spare key? Hmm, yes, there should be one in the faculty room. I'll ask the vice principal for you. Thank you, sir. We'll be back soon. Be careful out there. You too, sir. Don't fall asleep in the middle of the halls. <laughs> Kawara is a strange boy. I wonder why he lied about going straight home. Wait, what? what? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> we won't be able to talk to the headmaster until we have that key. Let us work on a murder case until then. Right. We should ask everybody where they were yesterday. The doctor said he was in the infirmary until he went home. wonder if we can trust him. Do not bias yourself with baseless suspicions, Kawara. Yeah, I know. I think maybe you trust him a little too easily, Sakuya. He's a world authority, but that doesn't make him honest. You know nothing of what that means. The head of the LeBel family, my father, was once crippled with chronic illness. He was cured by medicines developed by Dr. Iwamine. He makes medicine? Save the sleep talk for your dreams. Have you no idea what con contributions he has made to the medical world? I, I didn't know. I thought he was some kind of... Some, some kid of mad scientist. Cooking up nothing but <laughs> death and all around woe. Kid. You have become biased by the foolish rumors of the peasantry and alternate endings. Reconsider yourself. In any case, the LaBelle family is indebted to him. A noble bird will never treat a benefactor with disrespect. So that's why he's so polite to the doctor. Doesn't that make him biased as well, though? Yep. Anyway, let's, let's go. Very well. Oh, I feel like this is going to be a real long one. Yeah, there are definitely two kinds of bias. Mm -hmm. That is also true, yeah. 
Um, students in the gymnasium have grown somewhat restless since the evacuation. Shut up with no explanation, and as a suspicious individual wandering the campus, I guess even doves will lose their cool eventually. San! San, where are you? Coo! Oko san is right here! Alive and well! So far! Coo coo! Where did you and Takuya go? Leaving Oko san behind and going outside is not fair! You'll just. You'd just confuse the issue if we brought you along. We and this scenario is not light hearted enough for you. We came back because we had a question for you. <laughs> Come at me, whipper snapper! That's not what I. You usually practice on the ground after school, right? Coo coo puck. Of course! It is Okosan's duty as track captain! Did you see the end while you were out there yesterday? <sighs> no! Okosan did not see her then, or as he was going home! Can we really be sure that she would have noticed her even if she had been there while he was running? Good point. Coo coo! Do not look down on Okosan's visual memory! If you had asked Okosan about the bloodstained interloper he saw, then he would have said he would have had something to say. Huh? Excuse me. Huh? Oh, oh, oh. Wait, San, did you just? Coo coo! Do not look down on Okosan's visual memory. After that imbecile. If you had asked Okosan about the bloodstained interloper he saw, then he would have had something to say. Okosan saw the interloper going to the infirmary. The infirmary? Could that have been the the end? She wouldn't have been stained with blood until after she died. She was a bit hyper, but I don't think she'd still be walking around at that point. It was not the end. It was a bird unknown to Okosan. Well, someone covered in blood is going into the infirmary after school. Who in? Whoever he is, he's our prime suspect now. Ah, yes, mystery bird. Thanks for telling us, son. At least we found something. Even if it raises more questions than it answers. Yeah. Some bird who San doesn't know. Could it have been someone from outside the school? It's past noon already. Let us hurry onwards. Mr. One? You, Tarkan, come in. How goes the investigation? Well, I hope. We went to the headmaster's office as you requested. It was locked, however. Yeah, we got talked. We got attacked by this weird thing outside there. I'm glad you're okay. The office isn't that far from. That's actually no. Nope, that's you, yeah. Was that thing a muddy scarecrow like a man, perhaps? You, yeah. So, you've seen it too. Just now, yeah, on the second floor. I caught a glimpse of it from behind from behind at the other end of the corridor and didn't stick around to let it see me. So at last, I was not blessed with a look at its pretty face. Coward. Hey, we ran as soon as we saw it too. Anyway, it sounds like it's wandering the building. Maybe it would be better for you to leave, Mr. One. How long is this video? Uh, like an hour, ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry for me, young one. My duties prevent me from leaving this room. You two aren't planning to call off your investigation because of a bad guy or two, either. 
Well, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Already stuck in the rut of unadaptable middle age? Don't come crying to us if you get hurt. I've come within touching distance of death in the past. I will be fine. I wonder what kind of death that comes that close to a maintenance worker. Then again, knowing this school, there could be all kinds of people going on behind the scenes. Well then, what are you standing around for? I believe o I believe orders were given for everyone to gather in the gymnasium to avoid the Scarecrow. Same goes for you. Why aren't you headed over there? Uh, I can't just sit around. Indeed. Same here. Hands walking around the school. On that note, I'd better go to the lab. Professor Nodaki wanted me there. Uh, what for? Something you asked him to do. Oh. Ah, he wants you to help him keep an eye on Dr. Iwamine. Most likely, yes. The doctor in the end, the end that is. Anyway, you two go on with your investigation. I'll be watching over her, so don't worry. Right. Wait. Yeah? According to the autopsy, the end died after school yesterday. Did you see her during that time? Yesterday evening, huh? What did the doctor say? Uh, just, just that he'd been in the infirmary all day. And I was there too. We were inspecting and cleaning all day, so I can verify the doctor's alibi. I told you not to doubt him without evidence, Kawara. Ah, uh, right. At this point, the prime suspect is that Scarecrow, anyway. That's everything? No, wait, you're in the infirmary. S someone's blood went to the infirmary. Who's in the infirmary? Fuck. Well, adieu. We should head out, too. But first, let's write down what we found. Alright, let's go. So we walked about the school, searching for the clues for clues of the end and the mysterious bloodstained stranger. We were lucky enough to avoid encountering the scarecrow, but we didn't find any information either. Well, that that's probably a good place to stop this one. So, next time, Super Bird Murder Mystery Party, yay! Yay! yay. <laughs>